We build closer and closer to the main event, fight by fight. And this, an eliminator for the British featherweight title, once held by, jo by Josh Warrington and by Lee Wood. That's the kind of status the domestic title can afford fighters. That's what they can move on to. And Hopi Price, very confident about his chances of prevailing here tonight and going on to a title challenge at some stage in 2024. Yeah, I've been speaking to him all week, Mike, and he's been talking about what a dream it would be to be a British champion. And what he spoke about in this fight a lot was levels. He's going to show Cogill that he's levels above. He's going to let him know when he goes back to that corner after the first round, if he does so, that he's the quicker, the bigger puncher, the more physically strong. And already he's, he's come out, he's trying to hold the center ring, getting behind that nice stiff jab. And Hobie's been a fight that we've heard about for a long, long time. I can remember hearing about his amateur travels around the world. He's always been a very highly touted fighter, come through the same sort of age range as Dennis McCann, the voice of Barney Smith, but a very, very good boxer. And this is a good chance for him to really show it here. Unbeaten fighter on Conor Coquille, who's really coming to take his opportunity tonight. And there's been an element listening to Conor Coquille in the build-up here of what Josh Warrington's been saying about being written off and how you can really use that as powerful motivation. Oh, big, big attack. attack by Coghill. And suddenly, Price is under more pressure than at any stage in his professional career. And there's still almost a minute to go in the second round. His leg staggered. He opted to hold there, hope he's moving back and edging back. Good reaction, but how much are his feet under him there? He switched on here, though. That was a lovely shot. He waited, didn't he, for the lead to come out, Hopi Price, and he just fired that left hand through. The guard of Hopi Price, beautiful shot. He's taking it well, Hopi Price. He's on the back foot, but that has really spurred on Coghill. And this is sometimes the problem. If you're getting in the ring of someone that looks on their record look like they're not a big puncher, and they land a shot and it shocks you, all of a sudden you're in a whole different world of trouble because you weren't expecting it. Which is precisely what happened to Carl Frampton against Josh Warrington. Oh, Coghill now buoyed by that success earlier in the round. Catches him at the edge of range there as he's trying to escape, Hopi. He's just got to keep building on this, Coghill. Keep the pressure on. Very good round. More urgency and more accuracy from Hopi Price across the first half of this sixth round. That was a nice lead right hook, but back comes Coghill again, just holding his feet a little too long there, Hopi Price. I so said sometimes you don't want to stay too long. You've had a good run of success. Cash out the punches, cash out the points. <laughs> Cannot miss with that. That left hand, when he sets it up with the jab of the eyes to the body, he's there to be caught, Hopi Price. And I've heard they, uh, Colwell say it in the corner numerous times, the recoil is too slow. You've got to get that hand back. But I don't think this is the first round that Hopi started off fast, started off in control, but as the action's gone on a bit, the clean shots have started landing and it's sort of to fall away a little bit and a few rounds have probably escaped him so far for this very thing. <laughs> Steffi Ball, Jason Cundam in the corner, applauding their man for his work on the front foot. It's a physical strength as well that's really telling and showing in this round from Coghill, forcing the pace, but he looks strong stronger the ones when they're in the car. Oh, beautiful shot, lead right hand. Tremendous. Closing seconds of the round. Coghill determined that he can carry on. Hopi Price now denied the chance to follow up the best shot of the contest so far, right on the point at which it reached halfway into round nine, scheduled for 12. But the instructions clear from Dave Coldwell, the close rounds that began against you and you're blowing it, I heard in the corner there. Maybe that's the urgency I was asking you for a few rounds. That's the word urgency, he needs urgency. Good work again. Doesn't need to be greedy, you can still up the tempo with the twos. Just go again, the jab, one, two, step your feet in, one, two again. And maybe That's it's better. Good and work. maybe it's interesting work from Dave Coldwell here that that urgency came not when the rounds were really quite on top. 
when you've got a couple of rounds behind you, now the urgency, where we've got a bit more momentum and you've got a bit more confidence, now you tell the fighter, look, go to work now. And maybe they'll be able to do a bit more with it than at the time when I was asking for it. And that mind game I was talking about earlier, will self-doubt start creeping in from Coghill? Where it's been a good response from Hopi Price. He's got the knockdown, nice one too. When the head was low of Coghill. A lovely sharp left hand at the end of that combination. Brilliant work from Hopi Price. Back comes Coghill, that's a nice left of his own. And Coghill's going to feel like the away fighter. I feel like Coghill's going to come here down the stretch and feel like he needs these rounds. Yeah, they're both pretty much saying the same in the corners. It's close. They want them, their charges to work that little bit harder, get the last say in the arguments. it would be interesting to know if some of the shots are getting to Coghill a little bit here. Not massively hurting him, but he's not reacting or throwing back as much. He's not responding as much. Maybe it's the, the rounds getting to him. But the at gradual the same time, wear and tear. Yeah, I feel like some of these shots that are just creeping through are enough hurting Coghill where he's not wanting to throw shots again. Look like that, he opens That's up the and he shot. gets caught. That's the shot that he's having success with. Lovely right to the body sorry but it's that lead right hand when Coggill falls over that front foot he gets greedy he gets clumsy and it's the momentum as well it makes his lead right hand even more hurtful the Coggill corner still showing every shot that's thrown i think at this point but Applauding every one of his successes, and there have been many of them, but so too for Hopi Price. Across different phases of the fight, both have had periods of success, and it's developed into a fascinating tussle inside the last half a minute of the 11th round. It really has been an intriguing. Tremendous left down over the top from Hopi Price, and he hit his man while he was down, but referee Bob Williams now will start to take up the count. His legs don't look too steady to me. But once again, as earlier in the fight, just a few seconds left in the round. Hopi Price now with a tremendous opportunity. Coghill trying to fight back. Will he hear the bell? He's almost gone again. Staggers back to his corner. Brilliant finish to the round from Hopi Price just when he needed it. Out of nowhere. Absolutely out of nowhere, Sonny. And exactly what he wanted. You could tell the whole round he was on a search and destroy job. Impressive speed, impressive power, late in the contest from Hopi Price, and down goes Coghill again. We're still well over two minutes of the final round remaining. Desperate, desperate times for Connor Coghill. And he's completely blindsided him with the angle changes. He's going right around the side of him and getting his feet there before Coghill's reacting. A good shot there through for Coghill. He's up against it right now here. Hopi trying to go through the gears. But this is a measured attack from Hopi Price. Huge respect to Hopi Price for coming back and finishing the way he has. Huge heart from the Leeds man. This is a very good finish. Dropping that right to the body and again. Beautiful again, looking in trouble. Down again. And this time, referee Bob Williams decides that Conor Coghill has got nothing more to give. He's given plenty. It was a tremendous effort and a tremendous contest, but in the end, the man on the far side of the ring, Hopi Price here, was simply too quick 